hello again YouTube this is getting a regular thing um, we're doing a video pretty much every night now um, it might slow down a little bit it might not um, I've got three items going out tonight I've still got two awaiting payments the two different ones this time uh, everybody else has paid um, I'm going to explain a little bit about what I do in my spare time things like that um, so obviously if you've watched the channel um, and you've watched the videos before um, obviously I don't do this full time um, this is only part time I do it in my spare time for a little bit of fun um, and a little bit extra money um, again it's, I'm not making huge amounts on this um, but I am making money at this um, so obviously I get all of my stuff from charity shops car boots yard sales facebook marketplace um again me i go to the charity shops the car boots uh the yard sales my partner sometimes comes with me um but she also helps me a lot with the facebook marketplace i work full time at a factory four on four off um so i don't get a lot of time during the day my partner she finds a lot of the facebook stuff messages for me finds out about it um, and we arrange to pick it up on my days off when i'm kind of heading that way um, or i'm always like if i'm that way then we pick it up on the way um, so again obviously it does help that there's two people doing this um, because it makes my life that little bit easier stuff that i would normally miss out on um, she picks up she knows what i buy um, she knows what makes money um, she's fully aware of how to comp stuff on eBay um, so if she finds something she will comp it find out whether it's worth buying whether it's worth the money that's being asked um, she knows what I like and she knows what I like to buy as well so it is a big big help to me the days that I'm working um, the days that I'm not obviously we go up to town we go to car boots charity shops um, uh, and we do as much as we possibly can to keep new stock coming in um, and stuff that earns a little bit of money. Um, and I also do discos. Um, so that it, it's trying to work family life with all of the stuff that I do. Um, obviously, discos take up a long time. Um, obviously, my work is 48 hours over four days. Um, so trying to do stuff after work is a little bit harder. Um, but if stuff's local then I will pick it up straight after work um, and again it it's one of those things that you've got to get a good balance between work your hobby eBay um, my discos and my family um, my, my family have to come in with all of that as well because again it's important so that's a little bit about me and obviously the stuff that I do um, if you haven't watched the channel before, then that gives you a little bit of an explanation that this is only part time. I only do this for a little bit of fun. Um, again, everybody might go, "Oh, like that, that's not fun." It is to me. Um, I like going out. I like finding the bargains. I like researching. I like being able to find out whether something's worth money or something's not. Um, I lot. I watch a lot of other reseller youtubers from the uk america things like that um so i get to find out what they buy and whether it's worth me trying to buy them um like the trainers rummage around they they buy a lot of trainers uh harry tornado uh, another guy that i watch he buys a lot of shoes and trainers um harry tornado buys lots of wii's and lots of wii consoles obviously he is american um so his prices are slightly different than mine um, but it, it still makes money um, shoes I, I'm starting to make money on shoes so again I will keep looking for shoes um, it's one of those things that do your research watch other resellers um, especially UK ones because again it will show you where your market is um, and it will give you ideas of what to buy and when because um, again they give away all of their tricks all of their secrets they make it very transparent in what they do um, I, I try and make it as transparent as possible and I will try and tell you exactly what I've made and what I haven't um, again if I make a good buy or bad buy I, I will tell you because 
it is one of those things that I'm trying to show you what can be done with just a food quid and a little bit of time. Um, if it's something that you really want to do, then you can do it. Again, I'm I'm doing it. And I do a lot of other things in the background as well. So it, it can be done and anybody can do eBay. It, it's very, very simple to do. Um, enough of the boring stuff. Let's get down and I'll show you what we sold and how much and what I paid for. Um, so first one is uh, PS4 Just Cause 3. Um, I had somebody ask about it the other day. It is just the game in the case. Um, again, it's going to be 50 pence a pound. I don't pay much more than that for games um, unless it's something really special. Um, then I obviously I will pay up a little bit more. So I've got 50 pence or a pound into that. Um, it sold for 3 99 with 1 99 postage. Again, postage is only going to be £1.53 because it will go large letter. Um, Sometimes they will go even less than that, like 96p, depending on obviously the weight. If they've got manual, obviously it's going to weigh a little bit more, so it'll bump up the price of the postage a little bit. Um, but anywhere from 96 to £1.53 um, to post that. And I put it in a bubble mailer, um, just obviously to give it a little bit more protection, um, which I, d I wouldn't have to do. I can put it in a mailing bag and leave it as it is, because it is in a hard case. So, obviously... But I like a little bit of protection on the games. Um, so I bought a long, long time ago. I think these were on a video. I'm not sure. They are 3D printer nozzle tips. Um, I've had a 3D printer in the past. And I know how much you go through these. Um, they're all slightly different diameter nozzles. Um, there's like 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 sixes i think there's a few other mixed ones in there um i bought them from a charity shop for two pound i even left the label on there it's the package that they come in um i put them in pairs i put them at 2.99 plus 1.99 postage um they are not going to cost 1.99 to post they're going to be like 96p maybe 66p um i'm going to put them in a little bit or i'm either going to put them in a little bag like this which i've got a couple from the covid tests um, so that was thanks to my partner because obviously she she uses a lot of COVID tests because of college and things like that. Um, so I may just put them in a little baggie and put them inside an envelope. Tell take the envelope up. Um, 66p to 96p should be all right. Um, they sold. I took an offer. I I put them at 2.99 uh, with 1.99 postage. Um, I aimed big, um, but I paid £2 for the whole bag, and there's multiple listings in there. Um, I took an offer of £1.50 um, with one ninety nine postage. So I'm going to make money. Literally, I've nearly made my money back, and I've only sold one, one lot of two, which is quite good. Um, and a long, long time ago, I bought a mixed box of lots of stuff. It got cameras, uh, old stoneware hot water bottles, um, loads and loads of bits in it. Had this little aluminium vintage looking phone. Uh, the bolt has come off. It's inside there somewhere. So the handset is free. Um, but it is aluminium, full metal. Um, I've already made my money off that box. Um, I paid 20 quid, I think it was two boxes full of stuff. I only really wanted it for the two cameras that was in there. Um, the camera I split down, sold the body, sold the battery, sold the flash, everything separate. Um, I made my money off just the camera. Um, just the camera body on its own, I think I sold it for 29.99. So I made profit within the first thing that I sold. The battery went for 14.99. Um, this has just sold, I took an offer of £5.00. Um, and uh, it doesn't say what postage it was, but I think it was £5.80. Um, so, it, well in profit on that, within the first item that I bought out of that box, and it was the only thing that I wanted the box for. Found a few other bits. That was the one that also had the cutthroat razors in that I've sold both of now. Um, they both went for about £15 each. Um, so, well into well over £100 worth of profit. Um on a 20 quid box 
which was quite good. Um, so that is the three things that have sold. Um, and I'm still waiting on payment for two items. Um, I think one's a game and one is something else. I can't remember. Let's have a quick look. Uh, oh, yeah. A Wii game um, console bag um, and a PC game. Um, so I'm still waiting on payment on those. Um, that will probably be in a later video. Um, so that is it for the video for tonight, guys. Um, there is another video uploading tonight, which is the tenth, uh, the thirty-first of the tenth. Um, so there will be another video going up before this one. Um, but thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell button if you want to. Um, again, you don't have to. Um, again. Obviously, the link down below is to our eBay store. If you would like to have a look, then you can. Um, if you don't want to, then don't. Thank you for the views. Um, we will see you in the next one. UK Bargain Hunter reseller, Damien, out.